This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me, as always, halfway across the world, it's Jared Morgan. Hey, Chris. How you going? Well, you know, I'm doing pretty good, interestingly oh, good. enough. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's I, good to hear. I know because you know we've we've got some uh, we've got some information from uh, Zen about pinball effects coming up and uh, a table reveal, right? Well, yeah, we do. Hey, but I'm just wondering, should we like uh, tell folks who might be a bit new to our channel what we're all about? Hmm. Ideas from Jared. Okay, sure. I know. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, here's the deal, folks. Here's what you need to know about our little uh, dog and pony show here. Uh, this is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. We've been doing this since about 2012, and we like to talk primarily about digital pinball. More importantly than that, we like to speculate about digital pinball. Oh yes, yes, very much. Uh, yes. I hail from uh, Southern California. Jared there, he's uh, in Brisbane, Australia. That's why he's halfway mm. across the world. That's right. Always. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, our show is kind of a mix of uh, reviewing what we play with digital pinball, uh, but mainly checking out whatever news has been dropped uh, about the newest, latest, greatest, and kind of speculating where it might go from there. So yeah, that's kind of our much. show you... in a nutshell. If you want to know about commercial digital pinball, you come to the right place. <laughs> if you want to know about how to repair your pinball machine, nah. you've come to maybe the right place. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you want to know about the latest Stern pinball, not the right place. No, no, not this. Is, go, no, keep going. Yeah, yeah. This is not so, for you. Like we say, digital pinball, that is our bread and butter. Um, That's right. So, yeah, we got the. Uh, Request from Zen, hey, do you guys want to, you know, reveal one of the legacy tables that's going to be coming out in the new pinball effects? And we were like, yeah, sure, uh, heck why not? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we say, yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to uh, do here today. A um, few things about what you're going to watch when we do the reveal here. First off, uh, well, I don't know. Jared, what do you think? What do they need to know first? about pinball effects in general well okay so in general with pinball effects if if you're a little bit new to what's happening um there's basically a brand new platform being released um in the first half of the year at this stage um, um they've redesigned, redesigned everything you know about um, zen pinball in unreal engine um, before it was all done in their own in-house engine called the px engine and that's been around for years and it's been serving them pretty well. But now things need to level up to Unreal. And um, Pinball Effects is all done in Unreal 4 at the moment. So with the new engine comes new possibilities. And in this particular case, the table you're about to see um, has received a fairly big bump. So there's a whole lot of new high resolution textures that have been added into this particular game. Um, the Playfield artworks had a, a big pass. All the game materials and models in the game have actually had a, um, a, um, a clarity bump as well. And one of the big things I think a lot of people have been asking for is that the, the game's actually got ray tracing in it now, and it's still running at 60 frames per second, but it's running at 4K. So huge pixel bump. Uh, which means, which probably you know says something about the level of detail they've been able to jam into it as well. So that's a lot of new as far as things go with the engine goes. But um, what about the physics, Chris? Ah, uh, the physics. <laughs> and I'll just make a note. This is uh, kind of, although this all applies to the table that we're revealing, this is going to apply to all of the legacy tables, basically everything mm. that's going to be coming out in Pinball FX. Uh, so it's not just this one particular and that's the end of it. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to physics, uh, so previously with FX3, uh, other than the Williams tables, uh, everything was using what we called Zen physics. Zen physics hmm. uh, were a little more, how do you want to say, uh, easier. Accessible to the casual crowd. There crowd, we go, accessible to the casual yeah. crowd. Um, yeah, yeah. The ball was a little heavier. There was a little less bounce on the uh, the flippers, whatnot. Then came the Williams tables. And uh, Peter Graffel, also known as Deep, uh, he's now the uh, lead uh, designer 
over there at Zen, he dove into physics and decided, hey, we're going to come out with pro physics. And with the pro physics, uh, with the first Williams tables, it was meant to replicate what actual Williams tables play like. So there was much more bounce with the ball. Um, there was now friction on the table, so you could get ball spins, and you would see the ball zigzag, you know, in certain instances when you had a really high ball spin going on it. Um, those physics wound up getting, <laughs> I don't know, about three different iterations over the course of Williams pinball, which meant your early Williams had one set of physics and your later Williams had another set of physics. And fortunately, now we're coming to the point where, hey, guess what? Deep went and did the physics once more. <laughs> he even came up with better physics this time around, or I should say refined them even further. And now these are going to be applied, call them the Pro Williams physics, across absolutely every single legacy table, absolutely every new table. Everything's going to have the exact same physics available to you uh, to play with. So that's very exciting. Um, that's a big deal too right because applying physics and remapping physics across all the tables that's a massive undertaking and i can only imagine how much time it would have taken the studio to actually do that across all the tables so that's a big deal yeah we often refer to it as a uh, tuning specifically to a table because each table mm. has its own uh, different set quirks. of parameters yeah quirks uh so every single table is getting this same refinement just like the graphics got done physics getting the same uh, put through on that. So I think with that, why don't we go ahead and uh, just show the table there, Jared, and reveal Yeah, I think what that's probably is. enough context. All yeah, right. I think we've given enough of a, a preview and a bit of, um, um, I guess, scope for what you're about to see. Yes. So without Take a look, ado, see if you notice any of these uh, things being applied. Let's roll. Nothing can stop me! Beware of the reptiles around here, Hercules. Hades waits for you down there. I have to pass through a volcano. Not one of my brightest ideas. I fear no reptiles. And how about this little snake? You know, Hercules, I always wanted a nice statue of you. What? Here are you sneaky little... Help me escape! Shoot the snake! Ha! Ha! Fear not! The gods will send you another! I am the most powerful mortal in this world! Hurry up! I hope that Gaia won't rouse this volcano. Yeah! Hurry up! Yeah! A gift from the gods! See you! Never! <laughs> I can use some help! Shoot his head! Again, you pathetic mortal. Yeah! 
So there you have it, Son of Zeus, one of those tables that whenever anybody has asked us, uh, hey, I'm new to Zen Pinball, what table should I download? Um, always, I recommend it. Yeah, it's Son always this one. Yeah. There's uh, a, a great combination on this table. There's there's a lot of easy accessibility uh, in gameplay in it, and it lets you get, like, it lets you achieve stuff really fast in it. Um, and there's plenty to do, right? Like, it's a really well-rounded table. And here's the thing, with the uh, pin effects, no longer do you have to buy table packs. You'll actually be able to, if you want to, just purchase Son of Zeus. Boom, that's the only one that you'd need to do. It's going to be available uh, day one uh, with quite a few other tables um, right off the bat. Uh, what do we know of? We know of, well, the three new Zen originals that are coming out. Uh, yeah. That being Pinball Noir, uh, Curse of the Mummy, uh, Sky Pirates, Treasure of the Clouds. Yeah. Treasures of the Clouds. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Um, what else, Jared? Uh, do you know? Well, I think um, we also know that we're going to have, uh, of course, the long-awaited Indie Jones, the Beautiful oh, Adventure. That's, how can I possibly be, forget that? That's that's going to be so <laughs> much fun. But there's not only really that. There's, there's actually some stuff that hasn't... I know people have been really after, and that's actually The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. um, and also classic collectibles. Both of those ones are from Star Wars VR, so they're going in as well. And then there's also the uh, core collection, so Biolab, Pasha, uh, Rome, uh, Secrets, Secrets of the, of the Deep. Deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and so more. That's a pretty solid lineup. <laughs> yeah, obviously, if you uh, are seeing our video, you might uh, take a look around. There's a few other. Uh, of us pinball players out there that have been uh, doing reveals. And so there's quite a few other tables that have been revealed uh, this whole weekend. Uh, more info is obviously going to be coming with the uh, next pinball show, which is, I believe, early March. It's got to be, yeah, it's going to be a couple of weeks away now. Yeah. No, it's not far. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a big one, I reckon. And then, of course, there's our show. If you like what you've mm -hmm. uh, seen here, by all means, Hunt us down on YouTube, look up Blockade. Uh, we have quite a few videos, uh, hundreds. <laughs> um, yeah, hundreds, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll be doing it way too long, but we love it. So, yeah, we do love know. it. And, uh, yeah. you know, we'll we'll be keeping track of all the new info that Zen drops, uh, speculating what we think it means. Um, what other information might we want to talk about just off the top of my head here? Uh, Probably just the socials, I think, now. It's... Uh... Like if we, you can see us, I'm down there. Oh, uh, well, there. Uh, it's Jared Morgs. So you can ping me anytime on Twitter. Absolutely, and I'm at Shut Your Traps. Also, again, ping us. And the main thing is uh, with our show at Blockade. That's right. Otherwise, yeah, we've got uh, a website. Yeah, well, we've got uh, um, BlockadePinball.com. So that's where we publish um, all the new episodes, and uh, I do all the show notes for them and link you to all the things. So go and check those out. There's one for every um, episode. There you go. So keep yeah. staying tuned, and uh, hey, we'll see you around. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye, everyone.